and welcome back to another Blunt Lab video. This is part five in the Cisco Cool Manager Express series. And I would just like to first apologize for the delay in making these videos. It's been quite a hectic year for me and yeah, basically that's all I'm gonna say. But we have our two phones set up once again with the world's dodgiest lighting setup and what can only be described as a camera with the microphone reversed to try and get rid of the noise of the routers and the bloody rain outside. So in this video we're going to be looking at cool parking. So what is cool parking? Cool parking is basically when you get a phone call and you need to move it from one phone to another or you just want to come back to it in a few minutes once you've looked something up or you need to pass it to a colleague or I often use it at home in my own Cisco system to move a call from my desk all the way to the downstairs if it's like I need to pass it to someone. It's a very handy feature and it is so easy to set up that it's almost no reason why you shouldn't. So let's get into the config. So here we are, we're back on the computer. Yes, we cannot get away from it today. So we're going to create another directory number for our park group here. So we're going to do 149 because 150 was the previous directory number we created for paging. So we then need to give it a number. Now this is the number that you'll dial to pick the call back up. So just to make things simpler I'm just going to do one less than the previous number I did. And then we just need to do it as a park slot. And now that's pretty much done. Yep, that's the entire config. Three lines, that's what I like. We're just going to type one, do right there. And that's just going to make it so that the phone, so the config doesn't vanish when you restart the router. I don't know why I was going with phone there. Anyway, let's go check out our config then from the phones. And we have configured it. So we now have to try it out. So let's ring Danny from Bart. I forgot I used stupid names. There we go. And we can answer that. As you can see, it works very loudly. And making a ringing noise. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to park it on this phone here simply because we can actually see it. We're going to go to more and park. If you look there, call parked at 39998. And if you actually look on this phone, it actually says that we're now talking to 3998 and if we actually put that on monitor you can hear the on hold beep which basically just lets you know you're still connected we haven't set up any hold music yet normally you would hear the hold music right now but we obviously don't have that so let's say you've parked your call and let's just pretend this is a different phone for this example all we're going to do is ring 3998 dial. As you can see the caller ID has correctly changed on both phones and we are talking once again. So that was call parking. Basically you just create an extension in your phone system and say it's a parking area. <laughs> That's really all you do and yeah as you can see we just parked a call. So that's it for this video, I'll see you in the next video, hopefully these are going to be a bit more frequent now that I've actually started the year and stuff, and I hope to do much more videos now, I want to do some on like changing the wallpapers, and I also have a 7921 wireless phone, which I want to do some videos on. So you'll definitely be seeing more videos from me in the future. So that's it for this video. See you soon.